All right, I wanna show you how to create a graphic symbol now, but rather than creating the graphic symbol with some existing content, we wanna create this guy from complete scratch. And it's actually really, really easy. It's really straightforward. As a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my alien invader number one symbol instance. Remember, this isn't the symbol itself, it's a copy of the symbol. And I'm just gonna kinda of drag him down towards the bottom left corner of the stage, just for a moment. And what I'm gonna do is, rather than having some content selected on the stage and heading to the modify menu, of course, we did that in the previous exercise, this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I don't have anything selected on the stage, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head up to the insert menu way up at the top and then down to new symbol. So insert new symbol. This is how we create a symbol from complete scratch with nothing selected. Notice the keyboard shortcut there, F8, this time with controller command thrown in for good measure, okay? So we pop into this dialog box, same dialog box as before, by the way, and I'm gonna call this guy alien invader number two, okay? And once again, I'm gonna make sure that the type menu is set to graphic. By the way, a quick side note, a quick aside, Flash remembers what you set the type menu to. So if you're creating a bunch of movie clip symbols all at once, or you're creating a couple of graphic symbols in a row as we're doing here, it remembers your last choice, which just sort of speeds things up a little bit for us. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and click on OK. And what happens here is, well, we're taken into a completely blank screen. Now, what's happened here is we've actually been taken into the new symbol. Notice the navigation bar across the top. We were looking at scene one just a moment ago. Now we're inside alien invader number two, the graphic symbol that you and I are creating. I know it's a graphic symbol because of that icon there. Notice that we also get alien invader number two down in the library panel listed inside the bottom portion of the library panel. So what do we do now? Well, we can quite literally do whatever we want. We could grab some shape tools and start drawing out some shapes. We could grab our type tool and start adding in some text. We could import some photographs if we wanted to, really whatever we want. So here's what I'm gonna do anyway. I'm gonna flip back over to invaders.fla, which I still have handy, by the way. I hope you still have invaders open. And I'm gonna go and grab the second invader. I'm gonna select him and copy him. Controller Command C, and then back over to my Flash project. I'm still inside the Alien Invader number two graphic symbol. So now I'm gonna paste Control or Command V. And there's the content now for my second graphic symbol, if you will, okay? So there he is. And of course now, in the top portion of the library panel, I see the preview when I have Alien Invader number two selected. There's Alien Invader number one, and of course, number two, okay? Now, of course, how do I get back to where we were? Well, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on scene one up in the top left corner on the navigation bar there, and that takes me back out to the main Flash project. Now, you might be kind of scratching your head going, well, hey, how come we don't get the second alien invader sitting on our stage? Well, here's the difference between the two methods. With the first method, you saw that the content that we selected on the stage got converted to a graphic symbol. Using the second method, we created that graphic symbol from nothing. Really what we did is we created an empty symbol and then we had to create some content inside that symbol, right? And we did so, at least I did so, by pasting in some content from another file, my Alien Invader cartoon. Now, we don't get a copy of the Alien Invader number two symbol on our stage. We don't get an instance of that Alien Invader number two because we haven't created an instance yet. So in other words, I guess what I'm trying to say is using the first method when we selected our content, we not only created a graphic symbol, but we simultaneously inserted an instance of that graphic symbol onto our stage. That's what the first method. The second method, that you and I used in this exercise only created the symbol. We did not get the instance or the copy of the symbol, okay? So in just a little while, we'll talk about how to go about creating instances or copies, creating copies of your 
symbols on the stage. We'll also talk about manipulating your instances and editing your symbols as well. So I hope that works for you. Those are the two main approaches to creating not only graphic symbols, but also movie clip symbols and button symbols. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look at those symbol types next.